You want to show up early for days like today. It's a big day for baseball cards. It's usually about 30 seconds per player. It's not a lot. Big assembly line. Look out. Back down at me, big, big smile. Some guys refuse to smile, no matter what. Perfect, right? I there. use the big fake smile line. That usually gets them. Big fake smile? Eh, it works most of the time. Just saying it over and over and over again. Big fake smiles. Big fake smile. Big fake smile. It's a big assembly line. Look off. Back down to me. Big fake smile. You can tell right off the bat once you get when you say hi to them. You know, if they're not a morning person, they'll sit. Thanks a bunch, man. Have a good one. One by one, players come through the line, cranking out card after card. They know the drill, they know the poses, they do this year after year. Let's travel back to the 1980s for a second when baseball cards were craze. Baby boomers desperately tried to rebuild the collections that their parents threw away. By the 90s, baseball cards were a billion dollar industry. Production skyrocketed, prices soared, and more than 100,000 different types of baseball cards were produced each year. I call it the baseball card boom. <laughs> it's almost like the stock market. It hit its peak and just fell. And after that, you really didn't seem like you heard anything about it. Starting in 2010, Topps is the exclusive manufacturer of officially licensed Major League Baseball trading cards. Major League Baseball tried to rein in production in 2009 by granting Topps exclusive access to MLB trademarks and logos, which meant fewer cards and less competition. But I go to the card shop all the time, which, for example, ours here is closing. And that's happening a lot because, you know, the business is dying. You don't always want to let go, you know? It's, it's like, all right, one more year, one more year, one more year. And this is the year. This is the day. <laughs> Today's the day. <laughs> I've been doing it for 34 years, 35 years. If you buy 100 items this year, one or two or three might go up in value, but 30, 40, or 50 will be sold below cost because there's just not enough collectors out there anymore. From Titusville, which is an hour north, to Orlando, which is an hour west, to um, Vero Beach, which is about an hour south. There were about 18 stores. All 18 are now gone. As time went on, business just got tougher and tougher and tougher because of certain downturns in the economy and the availability of everything online. When I close the door and walk out, yeah, I'll look in and say goodbye, but I know I'm going off to something else. Now let's go back to Jason Worth. Great, lose the sign. If Worth wanted to collect only his cards, according to Beckett Magazine, he'd have to track down 1,270 different versions of just him. So nowadays, maybe his baseball card is just not that big of a deal. 